you know, it was cool, so we got a little bit more work out of it, you know, than, than maybe, but it was, they seemed to be able to go a little bit longer and harder today. You know, I think Anthony McGee's playing really well. I, I think uh, uh, Jamie Fajoko on defense is, seems to be playing very, very well. And uh, I think our corners are playing good. Uh, Blake's playing real well. And, and uh, I think they're starting to separate a little bit, and we'll, and we'll start. We're just alternating all four right now. And, uh, but th that's going to end fairly fairly soon. We've got to get our timing down. I guess when we find out who our receivers are going to be, uh, that's part of the, the, the game plan too, you know, timing. So they work with the same receiver. And so make sure that make sure that we keep all four guys interested and available um, so that they keep their head in the game because, you know, you're just one sprained ankle from playing. I think we're just teaching right now. We're not, as a, not necessarily evaluating until we have the pads on. You know, that, that's a position, but we're teaching and we're being real fundamental with the offensive line. So that's where we need to, we need to do that. Oh, God, he's just got great character. He's just been a joy to have in our program. Uh, I thought, you know, coming from TCU on scholarship, going to a smaller school, coming to the program, I thought, this guy, you know, I really was, uh, you know, wasn't 100% behind the idea. But gee, he's just been a joy to be around. He's a man. He's an adult, and uh, he looks at everything as an adult would. And, and it's nice to have that type of guy leading your team. Yeah, and he's like um, the opposite of a three-school <laughs> transfer. Most of the time, there's a reason why they left, and it's usually not good. It's usually negative. But uh, he's as good a kid as we've ever had in this program. As a character, you know, his character, and uh, as a leader off the field, on the field, he is determined. He's been an unbelievable surprise since he got here. So, like you said, you definitely worry about guys that transfer because you say something's wrong. But uh, with him, he's the opposite of a transfer. As good as there is on this field. From a coach or player standpoint, he works harder than anybody in this program. Um, and that's kind of how he leads, you know, he's getting more vocal, but he leads by that. So he gets here at 5 in the morning in the summer and he leaves well into the afternoon after going to school. He, he does well in the classroom, uh, he does well off the field, just everything's A's. Yeah, we, it's, it's, it was funny because the first meeting I looked around and said, well, there's no one new, but you can't assume that, that they know. Uh, everything they knew in the spring, and you got to kind of start fresh and go over everything. And uh, it's a challenge as a coach because it could be easy to kind of be lax with a veteran group, but uh, they're, uh, it's a good group. It's going to be a competitive group. We, we don't have any real depth chart solidified yet. We're just coming off our spring depth chart, and that's why there's a spring one and then there's a fall one. And so by the time we get done with Socorro, we'll have it solidified. But I think we got a lot of guys that are going to help us uh, in, our, in the backfield, whether it be running the ball, being a returner special teams. I think Vernon and Jeffrey are kind of uh, relishing those roles right now in the return game. So we look for them to kind of help us in that aspect. But got a good veteran group and some young kids, three freshmen out of that veteran group that are have some bright futures. Uh, we added a kid named Steven Valadez who's yeah. been good at all three since he walked on the field, uh, kickoff, field goal, and punt. So we, I think the key there uh, is that uh, the other two guys, Dakota and Ian, who had fine seasons last year, um, are going to be pushed, and it gives us a chance to have some, you know, some some real solid depth throughout a 14-week season. So if a guy gets injured in the kicking or punting game, or he doesn't perform well, there's a guy sitting there ready to play. So it's a bright future because he's a freshman. He's got five years in our program, but he might help us right now. His kickoffs were phenomenal yesterday. You know, so, you, you know, on the non-padded deal, you want to make sure that we're paying attention to details, that their assignment sound, and I want to see who's going to compete and who's not. Okay, so the, the initial part with the new guys and the guys that haven't been here, is, uh, my evaluation early is to make sure that, again, that they know what they're doing, they know, that they're, they know their assignment, and then when they get into a situation where it's a competitive situation, I want to see them compete. It might not look great, it might not be right, but I want to see them show me that they have the heart and the will to, to, to compete and get after it. So uh, tomorrow the pads come on, it'll be a little bit easier evaluation, be a little bit less uh, uh, excuses, <laughs> and, and now we can go. So 
my goal is for those guys to understand their assignment so they can go out there and play up to their capabilities because one thing I learned a long time ago in coaching is if the kids aren't sure of their assignment, they have a hard time playing fast and getting the job done the way they need to get it done. So <laughs> Up to the first week of the game, you know, when we're in the week preparation, obviously uh, I told the guys we got to start at a depth chart. We got to start somehow, some way. We got to have five guys in the first huddle and five guys in the second huddle. But that's a day-to-day -day evaluation, and again, that's going to be based upon assignment errors, uh, attention to detail, accountability, being on time, being responsible, holding themselves to, uh, accountable to themselves and to their teammates, and, and is, is it somebody that I can depend on? You know, we can't have a mental error in practice. We can't have an assignment error. We can't jump off sides. Uh, we can't be late to meetings. We can't be late to places that we're supposed to be. And Coach Price told the guys the very first day uh, as a team, and this is, this is true for us, is his definition of discipline is doing what the coach asks you to do, how he asks you to do it. And that's a real simple rule for a team to follow. It's a real simple rule for a player to follow, and that's what we're looking for, guys that are going to be willing to learn and guys that are going to do the things that we ask them to do, how we ask them to do it. I like it. I like it. Uh, I think having football all you know all the time through meetings, practice. I think just being around the guys all the time, it really forms a bond, and you're able to really focus on what you have to do. I think here sometimes you get distractions, and and your you know your full focus isn't on football. Mm -hmm. And I think when we go up there, it's just a good way to focus on what you have to do. Um, you know, perfect your skills or you know master your craft, however you want to say it, and just really get into football mode for the season. It'll be my third year, so uh, first year you, you kind of dread it. You don't know what to expect, uh, but by now you you got a bond with a lot of the teammates, and you, you kind of take it as a as a fun trip. It's um it's a business trip, but uh it's a great time to, to kind of get to know everybody on your team and bond and and have a heck of a lot of fun with them. Um, during our little off time we have, we do some fun stuff up there, so it's it's a great time for the team to kind of come together and all go go through something together as a team. It'll be great. Shoulder pads changes the the entire the entire deal with with football. You know, once you get the pads on, everybody can start hitting a little bit more. Defensive linemen, offensive line, linemen are going to start scrapping a little bit, which is always good in this game. Um, it, it's going it to throw, it throws off your throwing motion a little bit. Don't throw it off. You just kind of have to adjust to it. Uh, everything's different with the pads on, so it'll be fun to to finally strap up. We've been waiting three and a half months for that, so it's it's going to be fun. It's kind of like bittersweet, you know. I love the team and I love everything, and but Socorro is tough. So it's it's like, well, you know, last last year, kind of get the get it over with. But also, you know, you you'll miss the team bonding and things that go on in Socorro. Um, they're all doing pretty good. As of right now, you know, I haven't really focused on you know which quarterback is doing the best kind of trying to pull my own self up, you know, right now and trying to make sure I'm healthy and be able to perform good for, for the team. Definitely ready to go, but, you know, it's like as of right now, it's a little sore, which was expected. You know, first time back with football, no matter how many conditioning drill, you know, conditioning you do, weights you do, you just can't mimic football, you know. So just being back out here, you know, different movements for two hours, a little sore, but I'll be, you know, be definitely, I'll definitely be good. Been a long time since I've been able to strap on some pads. It felt good just putting on the helmet the other day, <laughs> yesterday, and so put on the shoulder pads and you know thigh pads and everything, and being able to go out there and do a little contact, and I'm really gonna love it. Definitely, um, been here. One of the guys who've been here the longest, have the most experience. I know the playbook in and out, so have to make sure I get get the younger guys, you know, up, you know, tell them to come along, you know, maturity. Since we have a young squad, uh, maturity is, they're going to have to mature a lot faster than usual. So just trying to help that, you know, help that process along.